Artificial intelligence technologies are going to affect the future of healthcare in ways that are unimaginable to us right now. Most of the ongoing conversation about AI and healthcare is focused on its potential benefits, such as faster diagnostics, better treatment recommendations, and possibly lower cost. But I'm not so optimistic. As a physician and a surgeon, I think medicine guided by AI technology is going to create a dark, troubling, and dystopian future. I think the promises of better healthcare in the future with AI are unlikely to make us happier as individuals or as a society. In fact, it is most likely going to disturb, disappoint, and alienate the population. Let me tell you why. AI will make healthcare even more impersonal than it is today. It will limit the choices available to patients, restrict doctors' freedom in making treatment recommendations, and eventually, it will turn helpful medical advice into strict rules that must not be violated under threat of penalty. What will initially be marketed as a helpful, rewards-based system to incentivize people to accept AI-based healthcare is most likely going to evolve into a system of intrusive monitoring, eventually becoming an Orwellian instrument for social control. I hope and pray that I'm wrong about this prediction. I really do. First of all, AI-driven healthcare is going to make healthcare even more impersonal than it is right now. In the imperfect system that we have currently, the relationship between patients and healthcare providers is based on a personal human connection, although that is already deteriorating right before our eyes. When you see your doctor, you often talk about your life, family, children, your hopes and worries. This conversation helps your doctor understand you as a person, as a human being, not just as a set of symptoms. But as AI systems take over, more tasks like scheduling appointments, initial assessments, diagnosis, and even treatment advice, the human touch is going to erode even further. Imagine a situation where your first contact with the healthcare system is not a human face, but a machine that asks you questions and gives you answers based on data. Over time, if their interactions are mostly with algorithms and computers, patients will start to feel like they are being treated as numbers or data points. This loss of personal connection will hurt the trust that patients place in their healthcare providers, which is already at a low point in our society. Americans today don't trust the healthcare system the way that they used to. AI-driven healthcare will erode this trust even further because the human-to-human -human connection that is at the core of patient-doctor relationship will diminish to an absolute minimum. One of the few strong points of our current healthcare system is that it allows patients to choose from several treatment options. As a patient, you can choose a particular doctor. You can discuss different treatment options with your doctor and decide together what fits best with your beliefs, needs, and lifestyle. But as AI becomes more dominant, treatment decisions will be driven by computer algorithms that look at large data sets to pick not only the best treatment option for you, but also the best doctor for you. You will be required to have your DNA sequenced and profiled. If you refuse, you may have to pay a lot more compared to those who comply because this information will allow AI systems to recommend the best and the most cost-effective treatment specifically tailored for you. While this may work well for a lot of people, it also means that the range of options available to you as a patient will become quite limited. Algorithms use standard measures such as cost, efficiency, and general outcomes to make decisions. They may not consider unique factors like a patient's personal values, preferences, individual life circumstances. As a result, patients may find themselves with fewer options. You may not be able to see the doctor of your choice because the AI algorithm has determined that another doctor is more appropriate for you. In such a situation when choices are limited, patients will feel that their opinions are ignored, that a computer is in control of the most important aspect of their existence, their health. This will lead to feelings of alienation and further loss of trust in the healthcare system. Similarly, AI-based treatment algorithms will gradually limit the treatment options that physicians will be able to recommend to their patients. Traditionally, doctors have used their knowledge and experience to select the best treatment plan for their patients. Initially, 
When AI systems are rolled out in healthcare, they will offer treatment recommendations to doctors as a suggestion, as perhaps an option to consider. But over time, I fear that these treatment recommendations will almost certainly become less and less optional. And eventually, doctors will face tremendous pressure to follow them. So think about a scenario where a doctor believes that a certain treatment A is the best option for a patient, but the AI algorithm recommends a different treatment, option B. If that doctor overrides the algorithm suggestion, well, that action will be flagged most likely. They may even face penalties such as reduced compensation, loss of employment, and very likely legal liability if the patient suffers an adverse outcome. Over time, this pressure to comply will force doctors to stick rigidly to AI-generated advice even when their own experience or a patient-specific situation might call for a different approach. This loss of freedom not only affects the ability of doctors to customize medical treatment for their patients, it will also severely demoralize and psychologically damage the physicians because they will be forced to provide treatment that they do not agree with. Eventually, the number of doctors necessary to treat patients will be reduced since the medical decision-making will become almost completely computerized. The computer will become your doctor. That is something worth thinking about. I am certain that gradually AI recommendations will become mandates. At first, AI systems will simply offer simple suggestions to patients like tips on how to live healthier or reminders to take your medications. Many of these suggestions will come through smartphones and in the beginning, these will be voluntary and actually quite helpful. But over time, these helpful recommendations will turn into strict rules. I think we can all sense that that is the most likely outcome. In a future where the healthcare system is managed by AI, not following the AI advice could have real consequences to you as an individual. For example, a patient who does not follow or recommended treatment might see their healthcare costs rise or even lose access to certain services. Based on your AI-determined healthcare parameters, you might be denied surgical procedures and medical treatments. What will initially be introduced as a gentle nudge towards healthier behavior will eventually become quite sinister. When AI recommendations finally become not optional, patients will feel forced into making decisions against their will that do not match their personal views, leading to a loss of trust in the system and a sense of being controlled without their consent. Patients and, in fact, the entire society will feel that they have no control over their bodies. We humans will become just another machine, remote controlled by software. Eventually, a system of incentives and penalties will become standard within the healthcare system to ensure compliance. This is not going to happen overnight. This process will be carefully designed, fine-tuned, and implemented one inch at a time. In the early stages, AI tools like smartphone apps will encourage preferred behaviors with discounts and rebates for insurance premiums. Many people will welcome these tools because they will be helpful, easy to use, and will seem quite harmless in the beginning. Next, we will see that individuals will be rewarded for using wearable smart devices, which by the way is an acronym for self-monitoring and reporting technologies that continually monitor health data such as heart rate, physical activity, and sleep patterns. These devices will provide real-time up-to-the-minute feedback to the AI system and will reward users for meeting certain benchmarks. Well, what happens after that? If there's one thing we can learn from history, it is that the progress of technology is unstoppable. AI-based healthcare technologies will become even more invasive. Inevitably, implanted devices which continuously track every aspect of your health will be introduced. At first, they will offer benefits like early warning about potential health problems like if you're having a stroke, a seizure, or a heart attack, or if your sugar is too high, or if your electrolytes are too high or too low. Gradually and eventually, these same devices will be used to enforce strict health rules. If you do not meet certain standards, there might be penalties such as higher insurance costs 
or reduced access to healthcare. For example, if you eat a high calorie meal like a pizza or french fries or drink alcohol, the AI algorithm will know this immediately and your behaviors will be flagged. This inevitable shift from voluntary incentives to real-time monitoring will make the concept of personal freedom and privacy completely irrelevant. After all, the AI system is trying to make you more healthy, right? So why would you be upset about that? When most people talk about AI and the future of healthcare, they often focus on individual cases or particular diseases. But I think the broader implications for our society will be profound and unsettling. When personal health choices will come under the complete control of AI, it will become the perfect tool for social and political control. In our future, access to healthcare will depend not only on our medical needs, but also on our willingness to follow a set of rules determined by an all-knowing, godlike computer algorithm. In such a system, the same data used to improve efficiency will be used to monitor and regulate behavior on a wide scale. Government agencies and large healthcare organizations will use healthcare data to shape policies or even target specific groups of people. Health monitoring will become a tool for mass control. Personal freedom and privacy will become words without meaning. Your health information will be tracked in real time, 24 hours a day, and you will have a health credit score. Where is this data gonna be stored? Who will be able to access it? Will you be able to make changes to it if it's inaccurate? What happens if the data is breached? Nobody will care. There will be nobody to appeal to, except the AI gods. You will have to beg a machine.